Hey guys, welcome to another active tour travel adventure. I'm Josh, and today we are in Mammoth Lakes, California, and uh, I took four trips up to Mammoth Lakes to make this video, so hopefully you enjoy. Number one, as you could probably guess, is Mammoth Mountain. At 11,000 59 feet, Mammoth Mountain is the highest ski resort in California and receives the largest amount of snowfall compared to the other eastern Sierra peaks, about 400 inches annually. The ski resort was founded in 1953 and has been providing endless entertainment for skiers, boarders, snowmobiles, and sightseers since. Mammoth Mountain has more than 3,500 acres of skiable terrain serviced by 28 lifts. And if you don't ski or board, a ride up the gondola is an exciting adventure that gives you an amazing view of the Eastern Sierras. Number two, Rainbow Falls. Rainbow Falls is the highest waterfall in the middle fork of the San Joaquin River, plunging 102 feet and eventually snaking all the way to San Francisco Bay. The falls are named for rainbows that appear in the mist on sunny summer days. The best time to experience the rainbow is midday when the sun is at the highest. You can descend stairs down to the water below. A shuttle is required during the busy season, but during COVID and the off season, they let you take a car down to the trailhead. The fee for entering Devil's Post Pile National Monument was $10, but well worth it. Most people pass it up, but the smaller lower falls is well worth the extra 0.5 mile stroll. There are two trails to get to the Rainbow Falls, 1.7 miles and 6 miles round trip. I recommend taking the 6 mile hike starting from our next stop on the list. Number 3, Devil's Post Pile. Molten lava and glacial ice shape these unusual rock formations. Basaltic lava more than 400 feet deep filled this narrow valley nearly 100,000 years ago. As the lava cooled, cracks formed in the surface to release built-up tension. These cracks formed into hexagons, which is one of nature's most efficient and stable shapes. During the last ice age, about 20,000 years ago, glacier carved, shined, and exposed this cliff. I recommend making the trek to see the top of this natural wonder. It's wonderful and it's amazing to see these hexagons up close. Number 4, Lake Mary. This is the largest lake in the Mammoth Lakes Basin and it's nearly a mile long. This popular lake for fishing, boating, and sailing is a great place to spend a hot summer day. Lake Mary Marina has boats, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, and fishing gear for rent. We brought an inflatable kayak to explore the lake and parked on the north end of the lake, but beware of the no parking signs. This lake was great for swimming and sunning on the shores, so hopefully you enjoy it. Number 5, Backpacking and Hiking. My favorite summer activity in Mammoth is backpacking, with tons of epic trails and alpine lakes that you can find a little solitude during sunset. A few of my favorite trails in the area are Duck Pass Trail, Thousand Island Lake, Mammoth Crest, and Minaret Lake. If you're not into backpacking, you can do many of these trails as a long day hike. However, there's nothing more wonderful than the sun setting over a mountain pass with a lake all to yourself. In a future video, I'll share my favorite backpacking trips on the Eastern Sierras. Number six, biking. Mammoth Lakes has loads of biking trails and paths. It's extremely bike friendly. Mammoth Mountain turns into a mountain biking mecca during the summer months, and you can buy a lift ticket for your bike and bomb down the mountain. My buddy has been trying to get me to buy a mountain bike for ages, so if someone wants to buy me one, that would shut him up. I'm more of a road biker, and so there's a lot of those options for that as well. We took a free Mammoth shuttle to Horseshoe Lake and did the six mile downhill bike trip to Mammoth Village. Hopefully you have some good breaks because there is a lot of descending on this trail. It's super fun um, and I enjoy it every time I do it. Number seven, fishing. Mammoth Lakes Basin boasts five main lakes, most of them stocked with trout. Twin Lakes is the first lake you arrive at and has the best campground in the Mammoth Lakes area. Mary Lake is the largest lake and receives the highest number of trout stocks in Mammoth Lakes Basin. Lake Mame is also a very popular place to fish. Lake George is the starting point for a few popular hikes, Crystal and Mammoth Crest. Horseshoe Lake is the second largest lake in the basin, 
but they do not stock it with trout due to the naturally occurring carbon dioxide gas release. There are many backcountry lakes. One of them that has a ton of trout that I've seen firsthand is Barney Lake. Here's a shot of the fish jumping at Barney Lake at dusk. Number 8, Convict Lake. Convict Lake is one of the most dramatic lakes that I've ever visited. The cliffs, composed of folded metamorphic rock, provides a colorful, almost painted backdrop to Convict Lake. The unusual history of this lake's name adds extra color to the backdrop. In 1871, a group of convicts escaped a prison in Carson City, Nevada. They took refuge close to the lake. A posse eventually caught up to the convicts and a shootout ensued that took the lives of many convicts and posse members. Eventually, all the convicts were caught and the name Convict Lake stuck. There's a fantastic 2.5 mile trail that loops around the lake and also the lake is well stocked with trout. Number 9, Wild Willie's Hot Spring. This is by far one of the coolest things to do in the Mammoth area. It's far down a rocky road and it feels like it's in the middle of nowhere, but that's half the point. With a great mountain backdrop and a few pools to sit in and enjoy the natural hot spring, this is a must stop. And for me, it's even more so in the winter when the mountains are covered in blankets of white. It can get really crowded here, so expect a lot of people at the most established hot spring around for miles. Number 10, June Lake. June Lake is another picturesque lake in the area and one that probably deserves its own video. It boasts fantastic campgrounds, fishing, boating, and my favorite, sunning on the beach of the shores of the lake. If you're traveling to June Lake from Mammoth Lakes, take the Mammoth Scenic Loop for a more interesting drive through the trees and the national forest. The town offers a number of good food spots and one of the best and priciest breweries in the area, June Lake Brewery. If you go up there, hit up the Hawaiian food truck in the parking lot of the brewery. It's fantastic. Number 11, Hot Creek Geological Site. Hot Creek is like a tiny Yellowstone in the Mono Lakes region. There are beautiful blue hot pools and steaming water here. There's plenty of parking at the top of the canyon and a quick walk down to the creek is well worth the effort. You used to be able to bathe here, but it's closed off due to the extreme heat. Do not attempt to get into the water. Even in the river, it is scalding. A little upstream of this geological site is some good trout fishing. So uh, I did see quite a few fishermen fishing in that area. Number 12, Mono Lake. Mono Lake is a salt lake that is close to the town of Lee Vining. The lack of an outlet for this lake makes this lake very alkaline and helps to provide the perfect productive habitat for brine shrimp. In turn, this provides a crucial migratory stop for 2 million birds. The geological tufa towers are really a great place to kayak around. You can rent kayaks here or you can bring your own. Number 13, Minaret Vista. Minaret Vista is a drive up spot just before the entrance of Devil's Post Pile National Monument and is a must stop at sunrise or sunset. The minarets are a series of jagged peaks located on the Ritter Range and a sub range of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. From the vista, you can see Devil's Post Pile and the middle fork of the San Joaquin River. When I came here, Comet Neowise was in the neighborhood, so I recommend this spot also for stargazing. Number 14, Twin Falls Overlook. One of the most picturesque overlooks of all of Mammoth is one that you can drive up to. Twin Falls drains from Lake Mame and tumbles all the way down to Twin Lakes. Although the best views of the falls are from down at Twin Lakes, the view from the overlook is amazing. It gives you a really clear perspective of the Mammoth Lakes Basin. Number 15, the Earthquake Fault. The ripped apart rock of the Mammoth Lakes Earthquake Fault shows the tectonic powers of this ever-changing landscape. At the base of Mammoth Mountain and close to the Mammoth Scenic Loop is this incredible fissure that ripped apart hard volcanic rock for several hundred feet and reaches a depth of up to 60 feet. It's an easy stop and one that the whole family can enjoy. Number 16, Mammoth Brewery. No trip to Mammoth Lakes is complete without a trip to Mammoth Brewery. Perfect for after a day on the slopes or fresh off a backpacking trip in the summer. 
the friendly staff, good food, and great beer is a welcome sight. And it's perfect for reliving adventure stories of years past. I recommend trying the seasonal beers, otherwise the Epic IPA is my favorite. And that's my Mammoth Lakes travel guide. Let me know if I missed something that you would like to do in Mammoth with a comment below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. I spent a lot of time coming up here to make this video. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about Mammoth Lakes and your upcoming trip. Also let me know where you want me to go next in my next travel video. Thanks again. This is Josh from Active Tours. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.